You're right, or Anderson led you in a lot of categories, sacks and, and uh, TFLs and even solo tackles. Pretty good for, for a debut for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I tell you what, he, uh, not surprising, you know, he, he was the, the defensive MVP of us for our, our defense in the spring. And uh, we saw a lot of those same things out of him then. And, uh, and he also brings a lot of leadership you know, to, to that room. And I guess I said that before when we brought him here and uh, expected him to do that. And he's done that. He's just such a steadying force in there. He's not just an only, he's a big guy, uh, but he, and he's physically strong and he moves well, but he's also got maturity to him. And uh, so he backed it up with his play, you know, which is what I expected him to do. And, and uh, just um, want other guys to follow suit, you know, and I thought, uh, you know, Weston Kramer's, no, I actually mentioned him, uh, to our whole team yesterday because of how hard he plays. I mean, just his effort. And it's, it's that way every single day. I don't know if I've ever seen a kid at this level practice as hard as he does every single day. It does not matter. And to me, that's it's infectious, it's contagious, and I love it. And I want it to, to infiltrate everybody. And it's not that we didn't play hard, but I'm just saying that kid takes it to another level. And uh, he's not... You know, a massively big guy, but he has a massively big motor. And uh, that's a, an awesome, awesome thing because he controls that. That's what makes that so powerful because it's sometimes, it's, you know, he can't control how tall he is, but he can control how hard he plays and how tough he is. And that's what uh, I love about him. And so thankful that uh, we, uh, you know, brought him here and they're really excited for his opportunity. So, yeah, I thought Ryder did a great job and, and uh, expect him to continue to be very productive for us. Awesome. Have a great day. Elio.